and welcome to Kenya Secrets, if you are new to the channel kindly subscribe. Regardless of whether they like it, Interior Cabinet Secretary Fred Matiangai and his Principal Secretary Karunja Kibitsha should agree with the progress plans, it is currently turning out to be clear. The two are among the state specialists that went against William Ruto's endeavor to become president yet wound up in a tight spot once Ruto won the top position. They are likewise individuals from the Progress Advisory Group, which is accountable for illuminating Roto on security and knowledge matters and ensuring the handover cycle runs well. Despite their hatred for him, it is turning out to be evident that they should help out Roto since, supposing that they don't, they will be in a difficult situation. With the law and may try and go to prison, the two, or some other part viewed as blameworthy, could get a two-year jail sentence, a one million fine in Kenya shillings, or both for neglecting to help out the head of the impending government. All through the missions, the two were eagerly threatening to Ruto, Kibitsha even affirmed that they had data from the National Intelligence Service NIS, showing that the leaving DEP was probably going to lose. Then again, Matiangai freely reprimanded and went after Ruto while supporting Rayla Odinga, an official contender for Azimi Ola Umoja. Ruto's significant enemy was Rayla. Controller General of Police Hillary Mutiambei, who is likewise an individual from the persuasive assumption of Office of the President Committee, was someone else named by Ruto as being threatening to his mission. In other news, Azimi Ola Umoja's enticement for keeping William Ruto from being confirmed as president has previously gained ground. The IEBC obviously neglected to represent 140,028 votes, as per the most recent reports. This is as per the end product considering elector turnout and invalid votes. William Ruto's triumph was met with additional resistance from the race's other participants and Rayla Odinga, a possibility for Azimio La Umoja. With 6.9 million votes, Rayla got 48.84% of the vote. The head of Azimio has now appealed to the High Court to debate Ruto's triumph. Azimio is sure that the Supreme Court would turn around the choice in the wake of hearing the appeal. In the nearby official challenge between Rayla Odinga of the Azimio party and William Samoe Ruto of the UDA, the last option barely crushed Ruto by 69,000 votes. In the event that Rayla Odinga decides not to challenge his triumph in court, he will be confirmed. William Ruto should pick bureau individuals to lead the different bureau areas after the promise is taken. To conclude, with the claim against William Ruto's triumph now noticeable in the Supreme Court, the chance of an overdraft can't be chosen if the court finds the political race has been broken. This implies that Kibukati and his group should plan for new official races. This is one of the potential results of the request, IEBC President Wafula Kibukati presently says the nation isn't and isn't ready for another race. According to Kibukati, the panel's financial plan is as of now extended and it won't have the assets to hold another official political decision if it somehow happened to be administered by the Supreme Court. We don't have the spending plan to play once more. We don't anticipate a recuperation. We anticipate the overall political race in August. In the event that there are cases, we will address them as they emerge," Kibukati noted. Kibukati added that. They just got the financial plan during the current year's overall political race and that in spite of the shortage, they figured out how to hold a dependable political race as Kenyans anticipate. As a board, we just got the current year's political decision financial plan and we did what we could with it, despite the fact that we ran a deficiency. Be that as it may, we have two metro teachers in every area, added Kibukati. Hope you enjoy the video and please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and hit the notification bell to be able to watch our upload.